in. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Don't take anything personally. Your truth is personal to you. Your own opinions and point of view reflect your own agreements and are personal to you. It's no one's truth but yours. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials finish up 140, Nasdaq down three, S and P's flat, gold contract down eight dollars and seventy cents, trading at thirteen forty seven an ounce. Silver down nineteen cents, seventeen dollars twenty nine cents an ounce. Light sweet crude down forty cents, sixty five dollars twenty one cents a barrel. Notes ten year note up seven six one twenty two fourteen. Thirty year bond up thirty six one forty nine thirteen. King dollar, king dollar up 34 ticks, trading at a price point of 89.04. The euro is trading at 124 to the U.S. dollar. The yen is out here trading at 109.25 to the U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? We're in the world of earnings, folks. Let's start out with Intel. We go take a look at Intel. Intel closed at $45.30. That's trading down, uh, no, it's trading up at uh, $47.15, so you got it up a buck and a half. Let's take a look at what they have to say out here. Uh, the revenue estimate was $16.35 billion. They made $17.5 billion. The estimate, earnings estimates, $0.87. Cents, they made $1.08. So let's see where we have uh, the $47 number, $47.25. And 47.25, your high is 47.64, so maybe we're going to go for that high. That's how that uh, baby is looking. It's going to be intriguing because of this downdraft out here from the third. Starbucks, SBUX. Starbucks, I uh, just come out with numbers. Starbucks closed at $60.55. That's trading at 58.50 right now. That's also up near its highs. Let's see what they have to say. Uh, so Starbucks, the earnings per share, the estimate was 57 cents. They made 58. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, folks. Their, uh, let's see, the earnings per share, uh, estimate was 57 cents. They made 65. Uh, inside that 65, however, they had taken a credit of uh, a ta X tax credit uh, benefit. Uh, bottom line is that the, the market's uh, selling down a few points. Let's go up and take a look at the uh, gold contract. So we had out here with gold today, monster volatility. Uh, gold reached a high of 1365.40, closed at 1347.20. You did 526,000 contracts, monster number. You're going into the high of 1365.80. So we missed that high by 40 cents. Now, what you have here is this. Yesterday you took the B point out of an ABC structure on the way up with volume. That gives you a price projection of 1431. Today, you had a higher high. You had volume behind the high. We did 526,000 versus 506,000 yesterday versus 500,000 at the swing point. And now what you're going to have, folks, is that you're going to have, on the weekly, you're going to have high volume high going into the swing of the 8th, and that's what it's been trying to take out for a long time, with volume. That's saying that we are going higher. We go to King Dollar. Or with King Dollar out here, we had the high volatility out here also today. King Dollar is a confirmed ABC structure on the way down. King Dollar came down with 76,000 contracts, monster contract volume, just to give you an idea how the acceleration has been going. Uh, well, this is really a monster too, interesting. Um, we, we did 76,000 contracts. Uh, yesterday you did 32,000, the day before you did 20,000. So, you broke down, you're at 8907, and if you didn't, were in front of a computer intraday, uh, intraday, King Dollar got a nice bounce when Trump came out at Davos and said that no, Mnuchin was 
misunderstood. Uh, what you had there is that that's when King Dollar went from 88,425. Uh, within an hour, it was up to 89. If it had closed, uh, it was up to 89,415. And bottom line is that uh, that was a, so the high was struck at uh, t 10 minutes of three. Bottom line, sold it down once again. You get a high volume low with volume. We've taken, we look at this on a continuous contract. What you're going to see is that you have come into the highs of 2008 and 2009. So this, way, this is where we could have got some support. And what it is, the highs of the lows of 2008 are 88 to 89. The highs of 2010 are 88,700. We're at 89,230. My take is that it's not going to basically jump, uh, do a counter trend bounce there, folks. And this is why. When you come down or up and you have huge price spread and big volume and you're coming into support areas, that's like a hammer coming in, bang. And normally it can break those apart. So what I expect you're going to see out here um, is we're going to see more selling tomorrow. By the end of tomorrow, more than likely we're going to be closing under this, uh, even if I take and make it more conservative, 88, under 88.70, under 88.708, you know, which is another 500 ticks down, uh, would be pretty decisive because then it would have a shot, uh, number one, to get into that bar more next week. Um, when you break ABC structures uh, and you break them with volume, your probability is pretty good that you're going to get what that projection is. Some of the higher volume stocks out here, uh, out here today. Well, actually, we, we can uh, let's go to a few more uh, equities. Uh, w, D, C. So we got uh, Western Digital. Western Digital uh, closed up a dollar today, eighty-seven. Well, eighty-eight dollars. Right now, it's trading down five bucks at eighty-three forty. Let's see what they have to say. Okay, so the earnings per share estimate was 382. They made 395. Revenue estimate, 5.3 billion. They made 5.3. Market still doesn't like it. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back with our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. We had the Dow Industrials finish up 140. NASDAQ down three. S&P's flat. We'll come right back.